I can see his tongue. <laughs> so these are Naja Haja. show that with the other view. These snakes will sometimes, lots of cobras actually, will push down with their nose and then they make a little gap there goes. right past their uh, maxillary bone so that they have a little space to escape. You can see some of the venom dripping down. You can also see the venom glands going in. Yeah. And, and then I just hold them. It's like a faucet. Just like a faucet. Yes. Okay, maybe not just like a faucet, but <laughs> Can you grab me this is not me? focusing. Yes. Starting again. So the common name for these guys is <laughs> Egyptian Cobra. That was exciting. Yeah. Or she maybe. Hooked the, she hooked her. She hooked her skin. It's a little bit of an example of it being speedy. This is a female. Oh yeah, this is, this one's interesting because you can see a little bit of banding on the body. I think that's coming across in the video. I can see it. See the poop go Oh, and now video. there's some poop. That's very typical. I'm trying to know if you need me to get her tail. I don't have to, but you might want to get a video of this. The uh, scale on the tail. Oh yeah, I could. Maybe not with this one though. I think I'll choose one that's less poop covered. Okay. <laughs> Try to get this to focus so you can see putting her back. This one's a little calmer. A little bit of a hood. Oh, yeah. You can see the eyes are a little bit cloudy so this snake is going to be shedding its skin in several days to a week which is fine it's not going to hurt it to be extracted from it oh that one held on let me oh. get this focus so we can see oh, that is not focusing there we go okay so the tip of many cobras uh, the tip of their tail has this scale on it here let me hold it and that scale is like a little sharp spike. You can see it's not very big, but if their head is restrained, they will use their tail to poke. It's a little bit sharp. It's not gonna cut you or anything, but they will use their tail to poke at their adversary uh, as a way to distract and maybe make that animal think that something bad is happening. I just realized that we have all these little tags hanging on the wall that look kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Those are little notes to ourselves that we can add to uh, various enclosures so we know uh, this snake maybe is going to lay eggs or this snake we need to make sure it eats this time or whatever the case may be. And we don't like to waste things, so we save them. I've been wanting to bite. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that one really doesn't want to bite. Okay, this is really not in focus. Poke me in the arm. Here you can kind of see the tail. <laughs> You're moving around too much. There it goes. You can see it. Poking Jim a little bit. There you guys see that? Pretty sure this one is the father of those smaller ones. I'm not real excited about biting either. Well, he bit the cage when he came out. Yeah, he he already did his defensive strikes, so and now he's just like, eh. Oh, 
Hi. You were waiting for me. I could see, you could see me through the holes. You could see my hand. You could see everything. I'm gonna back up. Yep. I'm gonna turn into a pretzel and back up. That one's really spectacular. Yeah. I like the snakes that are a little bit variable. It's kind of fun. See, that there's, there's the bridge. That was a really good view yeah. of it. I think it gave a couple drops. It did not get very much, though. These guys are not big. Sure that if I get past this point. Nope. Now these guys have a their venom gland's not that big. Not like a spitter. So their venom yield's extremely low. Mm-hmm. You guys see that the, this is a male. If you look here, you can see this one's tail is a lot thicker in through this region than the one that we said was a female. And we're actually talking to our interns through the glass. Wave, everyone. Say hello. Yay. <laughs> it was seven, eight. Uh, Egyptian cobras. So you can see there's very little venom. I'm pretty sure two of them did not give any venom at all. Definitely one of them did not give any venom at all. So snakes just didn't feel like it. Uh, we can't force them and we don't try to force them. And so this is how much venom we got. This is, I cannot guess how much dry venom this is. We don't measure it really when it's wet. We measure it once it's been freeze dried. So this is probably, I don't know, less than half of a gram. Wait a minute. 